Hello everybody and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution Return to Jurassic Park. Yes, we are putting a pause to our original playthrough because as a Christmas gift to all of you guys, we're going to be playing the Return to Jurassic Park DLC because it's been a year since it came out and I, since a lot of you guys said you wanted me to play it, I, well, I'm playing it. So let's get this up. Start a team up with Dr. Alan Grant, Dr. Ellie Sattler, and Dr. Ian Malcolm in this what-if scenario, tasking you to fix the mistakes of the past and salvage Jurassic Park. All right, let's do it. Welcome to Jurassic Park, John Hammond. Oh, yep. Universal, you better not copyright sh strike me, even though my channel is the tiniest ever right now. I don't deserve it. And besides, you allowed this. Oh, look at it. I love that little feature in, that, in the game now. What do you- Ooh, ominous music is ominous. A Steven Spielberg game. Return to Jurassic Park. Oh, I love this intro. Oh, this is not magical music, it's serious and ready to go. Now let's shut up. <laughs> this is so cool! It gets so much better, Mr. Cabot. Believe me. Uh, I, I, I didn't believe you the first time, John. <laughs> ah, this is the abuse I'm paying for. We all have our hey. doubts, John. But we want to believe. We just need ah, assurances. there it is. What's it like, seeing a dinosaur for the first time? Oh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the early days of a new romance. It's fascinating and exhilarating, uh, until the fangs and the claws come out. Whoa, what it's kind of relationships are you definitely having a in? Profound moment. It made an impression on me. Let's put it that way. This is why Jurassic ah, Park must succeed, Dr. Grant. I want the world to have that same profound memory. You know, I could do without uh, some of the memories of this place. That's precisely why I asked you all to take this journey again. Had you been part of the process earlier, perhaps our first time around would have been different. A mistake I'm correcting. We're giving you a chance to prove it, John. More importantly, we're giving these dinosaurs a chance to live in harmony with the modern world. Hmm. However tenuous and unwise that may be. I'm going to prove it to you all. And Dr. Malcolm, I'm going to prove you wrong. First time for everything, I suppose. All right, there it is, and we are on Jurassic Park. Oh, we already got a de Oh, where's the oh, As you yes. can imagine, everything is a wee bit of a muddle on Isla Nublar. So we'll have our work cut out for us. Yes, a, a return to the scene of the crime, as it were. What crime would that be? Uh, hubris, John. Something that'll hopefully be managed a little more thoroughly this time. I admit that I may have been too enthusiastic, and that it may... May have led to the blind spots. spots. Oh, That's don't do why it. I've brought young Cabot Finch along with us. So oh my god, look, there's what the kind another of raptor. Science are you studying, Cabot? Uh, business. Business? Oh, ah, great. The so last good. thing we need more of. Oh, yeah, we'll need to get out. Oh, yeah, yeah, raptor squad skin, I know. Oh, transmission coming. After reviewing everything with Mr. Hammond, All right, we we'll need to start by placing an arrival point. Then we can restore the core facilities and right, get a so ranger outpost up and running. We? Well, you actually, Dr. Grant, and Dr. Sattler, and Dr. Malcolm. Much to do, but it sounds easy enough. <laughs> you really are new to this, aren't you, Finch? I love how they were able to get all of them back, and I know it was mainly to be like, get ready for them in Dominion and stuff, but it feels so nice to have them back. And I'm also going to mention all the things that I think they're like teasing for the film, so like, um, how Malcolm's like, fully against it still, and the others are like, a little bit nervous. Alright, so we need a, we need to repair this. Yep. 
Once this is done, we need to repair all this. Come on, finish up. And you nervous to be back, Dr. Grant? Yeah. Well, last time I was here, I left in kind of a hurry. Uh, yeah, I suppose. And I want to make absolutely sure what happened. Oh, the East Dock. East Dock sign. So I've returned. Reluctantly. On the positive side of the ledger, it's a chance to work with living dinosaurs. Does that paint a clearer picture for you? Completely, Dr. Grant. Oh. And Mr. Hammond seems pretty confident we can get everything working as designed. Uh, and in Do you trust him? Confidence is not something John Hammond lacks. Oh, that's true. Confidence, however, is something I pride myself in, Dr. Grant. Ah, you're right. We'll trapped. need to repair the geothermal power station to start. Okay, once that is done, <laughs> I'm already done all that. Repaired and powered it should give us a solid base of operations. I'm already done. So emergency bunker and then the mod. You know, I was reluctant to come back here for, right, so okay. for obvious reasons, but then I realized <laughs> that I was... Obvious. Even more reluctant to stay away because nature would take its course as it always does. I felt the same. Still, there's no denying this is the single most important place on Earth right now. Perhaps ever. Perhaps, but uh, what of Dr. Grant? Ooh, and I are romantic. Too thick and thin, you know? Yes. 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 Still, um, chaos, Dr. Sattler. Um, Chaos I love has the me new sound effects whether that, we can um, actually the construction make has. things better or just delay the inevitable. We're just it delaying the inevitable. Responsibility. The last time we were here, we were Hammond's guests. This time, we're more like partners. Now we have the knowledge and the means to make a change. Ambitious, Dr. Sattler. That's ambitious, but uh, you know, I do like the uh, sentiment. Good. I'll need a research module added to the visitor center. Then we can get a look at the different fencing available. Let's add an emergency bunker to that list as well. I mean, you know, we've both experienced how effective fences have been in the past. Yeah. You know, it's one little fun fact about Laura Dern and Jeff Goldblum is after the first um after the first um Jurassic Park movie, um, I don't know if many people know this, but apparently they started dating. I only discovered that when the Gaming Beaver played this back when it first came out, and I was I did not realize. Apparently, they had been dating all the way up to like the release of The Lost World. Obviously, it didn't go all the way because, well, Jeff Goldblum's married to someone else right now. I'm I'm not sure who. Oh, yep, tranquilize the Raptors. Mr. Hammond is very concerned. We're getting reports of staff injuries? Velociraptors. Ah, uh, yes, so. Okay, we have to get them enclosed in the raptor pad. Aren't you an expert on raptors, Dr. Grant? Uh, I think that it'd be fair to say that uh, raptors and Dr. Grant have uh, history. Devoting your life to the study of an animal There's means one. accepting the harsh truth that it would try to kill you if you ever came face to face with it. You did come face to face with it. Which was impossible before Jurassic their Park. In the novel, so that but... had to count for something. Yeah, that was... It did. It counted for a lot of sleepless nights. You know, I think that's sort of like a reference to how he um killed um three Velociraptors in the novel in the novel. Even though there was like a lot of Velociraptors. There was like I think there was like thirty. I'm not sure. I, I know there was at least... There was 37 when they did the um, famous um, moment where Ian Melton... Oh, no. Come on, come on. Oh, God. Got it. Damn it. Attack. Where's the other one? He's all the way over there. And you know what? We'll ambush this raptor. Come on, let's go. And don't run me over. Come on. The music's playing. We have it on our side. We're in their territory. Oh god, jeez, box! I did not see that. Ouch. I'm okay. Where'd he go? The little bugger's running up. Bugger. Aha, I can cut you off. Huh? He's like bolting to the other side. Come on, let's get... I can ambush him. Yes, I can be the predator now. He thinks he's lost me by going around, and he's going around in the play circle. Oh, 
Oh, right in the face. Ouch. Got him. Now oh, there's one left. The big one is the only one left to tranquilize. Wherever he is. Where is he? He's uh right by the other one. So let's go all the way back. Come on guys, we can do this within the first ten minutes. I mean I'll cut out some parts, but up oh, yep, he's going after the people. Ah, oh, balls, he's going inside. I've got There he is. He's going that way. I just missed him. Yes! Aha! We got them! All right, so let's, um, where's the, um, that's the Velocitors, do not put them in there. One, where's two, well, that's three, but whatever. And then the other one is right, geez, they were spreading out. They were trying to do more damage. And now we just need to build the fence. So our goal now is get everything under control. Right? Can you control? can't have no. control. No, no, Finch. The best you can hope for on Isla Nublar is uh, uh, managed, managed chaos. chaos. Okay? And that is why you, you. are here, Dr. Malcolm. So, n not my sparkling personality then? <laughs> we just need God to damn it, I thought that's why we were here. Chaos and all. Then we can think about Oh, it's really problems. dark. John, Alan and I still really aren't comfortable opening the park to tourists. That is... That Kind of an understatement. <laughs> I understand uh, your sentiment and your concerns, but all in due course. And I do seem to remember seeing the public at your dig site in the Badlands. Okay, you're not. Charged them, didn't you? Those donations help fund our research. As did I. For which we are grateful. But it's really no different than what Park. we are doing here at Jurassic Park, Dr. Sattler. Just on an admittedly much grander scale. Yeah. And with more theatrics. And buttered popcorn. <laughs> I love we his all know your vision, John. But the execution, it really needs work. That is why you are all here. To make sure this dream, my, my dream, dream, doesn't, doesn't die. die. And there is one other major difference between Oh yeah, the timer's going, so we're In just Montana, on the Ellie and I were pulling dinosaur fossils out of the ground. And here it's the dinosaurs that are trying to put us into the ground. <laughs> and isn't that exciting? Finch, <laughs> you really need to learn when to stop talking. Yeah, he does. It's kind of weird that he is in this, but I think it's to help link him to like the sort of in-universe of this game. But one thing that's wrong with this is how this tour leads to the this enclosure and then the... Oh, wait. Da -da, we regained, uh, regained control. First mission done. One more mission. So yeah, it's kind of... Oh, jeez, I'm trying to talk, man. It's still going to take a while to properly organize and restore no, no. the scientific data. All right, sleeping. Dr. Wu left behind a ton of material. After Nedry's sabotage, it's a miracle we have anything to work with. True. Yeah. But between the storm, the dinosaurs, and whatever Nedry did to the computers, the records and documentation are a mess. But you think it can be done? If we can make dinosaurs, then we should be able to sort paperwork and organize computer files. Can we make dinosaurs? Or are these just impressive replicas? Oh, they're alive, Alan. And I want them to be as scientifically accurate as possible. Hammond scientists made their mistake by substituting amphibian DNA. And hiring wrong people. And also and making a the contingency right that wouldn't work. Us. But other than that, it, they were great. I don't know what he sees in that Cabot kid. People say that to me about you. Oh, do they? Uh? Oh, people. People like Dr. Rockstar. Careful, I'm not. Even when I could use 
pictures of the dinosaurs. I'll get together a list of specific photos that I need. You never thought I'd be able to take photos of dinosaurs before. Now we just need to wait for That's something to first. And Alan, the lens cap, I want actual images. Ooh, romantic music. This time. Come on, somebody fall asleep. Somebody get knocked out. Where'd the other one go? Oh, he's sleeping. And we sh Oops, the uh, camera. You know, it is. Uh, Here's one for the archives. Great for, shot. You know, I think one p thing that a negative for All this. All life has two instinctual impulses that no amount of tinkering or engineering, biological or otherwise, can ever hope to overcome. One, survival. Two, reproduction. With man, with man, uh, you can add a third. Domination. Man? <laughs> oh boy. So it's kind of weird. Right. Many people anyway, thought that this would um, be the implementation of like baby dinosaurs, which I think everybody well, was hoping for, including for me. While, so but it's a little unfortunate that all this breeding countermeasure is used for is to plot. Which is the mission. What? Exactly. Although the world is in a constant state of chaos, oh God, Jesus Christ! Now, now, now. They happen repeatedly. Regardless of the initial conditions, and an organism trying to perpetuate one, its DNA would be one of those. Or two, maybe it's the tropical island paradise setting. You know, works for uh, works for newlyweds. You know, uh oh, it could also be okay. food. Yeah, perhaps. But considering what some of the dinosaurs have consumed, please don't hit me. I hope not. Ah, come on. And no, nope, no, nope, come on. I think we've come on. It's a big enough. Should inhibit breeding. Come Dr. On. Malcolm, can you get a team together to administer no, no, uh, A ranger team can shoot them with darts while I watch safe ah, from the distance. Jesus! Do these ranger teams ever do ride-alongs? You know, for you, Finch, I, I believe... Let's go in the water. They can't get us there. All right, so let's, um... Yes! No, it's a big enough target. I can hit him. Oh, Jesus! Apparently not with the Triceratops. <laughs> oh, get the careful, Ceratopsians. That's you're gonna make Papa Austin a real mad, or if real dead if you give him a heart attack. So yeah, um, many people wanted the breeding measure to be like, um, oh, so they they've spotted some infant dinosaurs, but sadly, of course, we didn't get baby dinos. We can't have a true petting zoo be so cute to see like a baby um, version of like a Parasaurolophus or like we've seen a baby Triceratops and it's cute and but I want to see a baby um Para I don't want to see it eaten though that's a little too all right so now we just need the Dilophosaurus then I think that mi this mission is done I don't know I haven't played this in like forever I've only played it twice, and the first time was just me, like, playing it like, Oh my god, it's a dinosaur game! Awesome! Like the spoiled man I am. And, um, the second time was me, like, breaking it down. But those were, like, literally I played it, finished it, then played it again. And then, like, went on to, like, use it for, like, ow! For, like, a little... And also... Why can't you use the Velociraptor pen for anything? Like, I know you can just use it for um, display, but I wish you could put the dinosaurs in there. Like, at least just Velociraptor. Ah, uh, the Velociraptor. I'll need to put a light under that. All right. There are. Uh, there. It's a good thing that we've modified this to be able to go inside of what. All right. We need to keep our distance. Oh, balls! Structure broken! Uh, it's happening again, Hammond. It's happening oh, again. I won't allow it. Um, where are they we going? Have that choice, John. Finished. I need to know oh, John! Jesus, the gates are open, that's like what? The computer systems are under attack. John, we're being hacked. It's Biosyn! Dr. Malcolm is correct. The corrupted code has also on, affected the out. power grid. No, no, no! Don't say the gates are open. 
Okay, yeah, we I need won't. to go around. But they are. Protection needs to be our top <gasps> No, 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 Please tell me no. Oh, I'm thank God. Right? Let's get the power. Come on, come on, Jack. Go, 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 go. Obviously. I've got programmers hardening the code as we speak. Come on, we gotta go. You'll help us get the personnel secured. What am I doing? Excuse me, I'm. Of which oh, I fine, am I'll just do all this on my own. It's not like I need any help. Uh, I press. Boom. Nice. Um. Ah, uh, yes, play the... Well, it's not resolved, because we still got... Come on. So, yeah. Um. Also, with the Deluxe Snooze Enclosure, it's actually in the wrong spot, if you think about it, because the gate actually comes first. I just wanted to point that out, so like... Ah, balls, I've got to go inside. Ah, uh, I forgot all the words to... I used to sing this all the time, like... I, I'm pretty sure I have it as, like, my alarm clock on my phone. Yeah, I do. So guys, I also have a little question. Do you guys want me to just play the campaign? Or do you want me to, um, play the campaign and, um... Like, turn this into, like, the Jurassic Park of our dreams. Because I'm fine with just going back to, um, Return to Jurassic World if you just want me to finish this campaign and then go back to that. But if you want me to finish this, I will. Because I, I love both, either way. I'm having, I'm already having so much fun on this. Oh god, Triceratops. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Dotson, Dotson, we've got Dotson here. Dodson or dogs? Well, there is a few. I think it's Dodson. And that is... Oh, jeez, I missed it. Oh, and we got a storm. Yes, there we go. Now we need to, um... Yeah, so this was what I... We've identified no, some residual flaws okay, so in the park operations software. I wonder how they got missed the first time around. Uh... You, you've plugged the holes, though, right? There's some new counter-espionage <laughs> software. It's got Dodson's it hat, I just realized. Testing. Keep people out of our business. Mr. Hammond would oh, also like to make sure the dinosaurs are secure and comfortable. Oh, it's a big that storm. Shouldn't be a problem. Right, right. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's the most common and least true words spoken at uh, Jurassic Park. Yes, it is. So yeah, for the Dilophosaurus enclosure here, it should be the gate first, like the Jurassic Park gate, then this. Like, realistically, it's like they go here, then they would hit here, and then, like, they would go down a little hill, then come up to the Zolphosaurus enclosure. And then I'm pretty sure they would go on a bit. T-Rex enclosure would be... It should be on this side, technically. Well, no, um... No, yeah, it is. It would be on this side. This is the road. Uh, how are the Zolphosaurus doing, by the way? Ooh. You know... You better be in Jurassic World Dominion. You've been teased in like all the other in the previous two Jurassic World films, and with I'm satisfied oh. with the latest reports on park security. Now we can move on to the next great challenge, the dinosaurs. Oh, right. For that, we'll have to journey to the companion island, Isla Sorna. All right, we're going to Isla Sorna. Sight B. I love the shapes of the shape of this island. Even though it's a little bit smaller than I was hoping for, I think it's really unique. It's like a perfect blend of like um sort of um Isla Pena and um Nublar North. And those are like two of my favorite islands just for their weird their challenges. Ah yes. Yeah. Though well, there's no redwoods, like, automatically placed here, which is a little wrong. We call it Site B, 
Originally, a massive holding pen and secondary research facility for our dinosaurs. Spared no expense. Didn't want to keep all your eggs in one incubator, huh, John? Aye, that is certainly one way to look at it. And another way, John? Yeah, it's also about the diversity of the environment. In other words, you weren't sure they'd survive, Amis Le Noir. Darwin's most famous works were centered on species uh, he studied on the Galapagos Islands. Islands. Shame that they're not Excellent. used outside of the incubator. It also has the um, benefit incubator. of keeping our work away from prying eyes. Yeah, and making potential rescue uh, like thousands of miles away. Always the negative with you, Dr. Malcolm. Well, he's the more realistic one. Beautiful. So now we should get a message saying they are available. Yep. Oh, no. For now, we focus on the job at hand. Cabot. Yes, sir, Mr. Hammond. So I think we'll need a new base of operations. Ranger outpost and visitor center, maybe? Would make a good headquarters. All right, guys. We're going to leave it there. That, and then in the next episode, we will work on Isla Sorna, take a look at its wildlife, and tame it, at least to the point. And then we'll discover something truly chaotic. But I hope you've had a Merry Christmas. And, um. Did you two oh, know geez. about this island? Of course not. Yeah, yeah, We're in yeah. The dark yeah. As much if as you've you enjoyed are, Dr. this Malcolm. video. Who knows? Fine, I'll let them finish. Maybe it's just our inferior brains that can't cope with chaos. Hmm. Well, oh, yeah, they uncertainty, are you know, can be a guiding light. Chaos is about the unexpected, and uh, that's, what, uh, that's what I'm here for. Well, I'm here because of the dinosaurs. And because of the lovely Dr. Sattler. Oh, beautiful. Excellent work. That's really not any business of yours. It is our business. You posted the images of you guys kissing. Don't blame me. But if you've enjoyed this video and have had a Merry Christmas, um, please do leave a like. And if you want to join the hunt and help this channel a little bit more, hit the subscribe button. Be safe. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.